Hello and welcome to another video. Before I dive into my thoughts on Masters of Light, I'd like to share this highlight reel I put together first. These clips generally show what the gameplay looks like, but as you might know, flat screen videos don't do VR games nearly as much justice as experiencing them in VR, especially when it comes to this game. There are timestamps in the description below, but I hope that you'll enjoy the highlights and stick around if you'd like to hear some thoughts to follow it up. Now gone, yet tales endure. Mera's tree and guiding light, savior of lost souls. I didn't expect anyone to come this close to the black hole and liberate me. I'm grateful. Stretch your arm forward and open your hand. Your projectiles are guided by your gaze, so make sure to keep your target at the center of your vision when you attack them. Focus your inner light towards an enemy and strike with the opposite hand. The projectile will automatically find its mark. This shield will block all incoming attacks if you protect your head with it. Placing it too low or facing the wrong direction will compromise its defensive capabilities. Good luck. First, make a triangle with your thumbs and indexes. A symbol will appear. When it's complete, open your arms to unleash your shockwave. Use your light power to target an essence. Then, close your fist and pull to heal yourself. Close your fists and punch forward, both at the same time. Keep the hands close to each other when you strike. A simple clap of your hands will do the trick. Once time freezes, stack up as many attacks as you like within the duration of the effect. Close your fists and cross your forearms in front of your face.
It's working, but we need more help. this even possible? Well, Celestial Light Lady, I'm gonna attempt to explain how this game is possible. I hope those highlights gave a decent glimpse into the game and its mechanics. Now, here's my review along with some late game, high difficulty gameplay. I find it hard to convince myself to buy a game that isn't multiplayer, but Masters of Light by Coven was simply too much of what I wanted to see from a virtual reality game to not buy it. It's similar to a VR rhythm game, but instead of matching the rhythm, you're trying to defend yourself from waves of dynamic enemies by using your light wielding abilities. What really sucked me in is the gesture based combat to activate those abilities. I ended up beating all the levels in the game, completing all the achievements, and trying some end level with controllers to see how they felt just to make sure I've got a more complete picture to review. Before I get to my favorite part of the game, I have to mention the most obvious feature that sets this game apart from others, the hand tracking. I didn't think hand tracking was at the point where it could be reliably used in a combat video game, but wow was I proven wrong. The mechanics in this game do an amazing job of making the best with the current state of hand tracking, and I know the game will only get better as hand tracking does. My favorite part is the gesture based combat. Wielding the abilities with gestures makes me feel like I'm a wizard of light. The gestures required to activate abilities all feel very natural, and they do exactly what I imagine they'd do if I could wield light. I did follow the ability tutorials that are nicely woven into the game through the levels, but they're so intuitive I might have even figured them out without tutorials. If you do happen to have trouble though, Coven did a fantastic job of creating YouTube tutorials for any confusion they've seen so far. Plus, you can test each ability after you unlock it from the home base. Using each ability at the right time for the right enemy does take practice, but the challenge is definitely fun. I would love to see more of these gesture based combat mechanics in other VR games, even if they do require controllers. While this game might only take a few hours to complete, the foundation is simply perfect for a VR game. It's stationary so no motion sickness for those without their VR legs. It's not too complex, so it's easy to pick up, but still hard to master. Plus, the cherry on top is that the user interface is amazing, with no laser pointers, only physical touch and gestures. That makes it satisfying to simply explore the menu screens in this beautiful celestial world, knock around the floating fragments, and travel to different stars, ancient ruins, and back to the home base. Also, even though it's ideal to play standing up with hand tracking, it's still fun to play sitting down with controllers, plus you get the option to choose from three different difficulties as a more casual player all the way to a more hardcore player. Many people have mentioned this game as a good workout game, but I don't think I would classify it quite that way. Yes, it is an active game that can help you break a sweat, but many VR games do this simply because of the more active gaming medium. If you're specifically playing VR for the workout, then Masters of Light is great in combination with other more ideal fitness games like Les Mills Body Combat or one of the many other specifically workout designed VR games. All in all, this game has an amazing foundation that is completely worth buying even if you just want to experience the potential of hand tracking for yourself, family, and friends. I can now turn on my headset put it on someone's head, not pick up the controllers, and send myself or others into an amazing game. That is an unmatched convenience to play and show off to friends and family. I do want to mention that I've only played Masters of Light on my Quest 3, but I would imagine it's just as good on the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro. There are a few improvements that I'd love to see, and I know some are already on Coven's radar. Having a system that measures range of motion and hit speed would be great. Right now, I can make baby punches at the right place and be just as effective as if I make full swings. Those baby punches should be slower and weaker than a full swing. It would be even more amazing if pronating the wrist was taken into account for extra power. When it comes to controllers, they might be easier to use, but they aren't nearly as satisfying. 
There's some room for improvement there, but I do understand if they want to focus on hand tracking as they did really well with that. I wouldn't blame them if they even removed controller support at some point, but maybe if they add leaderboards then controllers wouldn't count or they could have separate leaderboards. I also hope the game's reception is good enough to add more levels, a randomly generated survival mode, multiplayer, and a mixed reality mode down the line. That's about it for my review, but I've got a few more thoughts that I would like to mention. You might know that I'm a big Dungeons of Eternity enthusiast, so I do have to make some comparisons between these two amazing VR games. They both have fantastic combat mechanics, but they're definitely not the same. Dungeons of Eternity has the best physics based combat I've experienced with a touch of magic like the aim assisted weapon throws, force grab returns, and shooting magic staffs. Masters of Light on the other hand focuses on the player wielding the magic to create the best gesture based combat I've experienced. Both make me feel amazing, but I'd love to see some gesture based magic in Dungeons of Eternity. I doubt Masters of Light could use physics based combat but features like co-op multiplayer and random generation would be great to see. I do also have to mention that I love mixed reality options in VR games. Even though these are two of my favorite games at the moment, neither have any MR mode. I can imagine Dungeons of Eternity mini games in the outpost with MR and I can definitely imagine Masters of Light with MR. Mixed reality might make the experiences less immersive and beautiful, but there are times when I'd like to see my physical space and not become completely immersed. That mostly sums up my thoughts after completing this amazing game. I hope you enjoyed the video, I'd love to see your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.